hello boys and girls so how is the studies going on so uh, of course like for the november attempt students the revision lecture on value of supply here we start so friends now this revision lectures are going to be like the quick lectures no, only for a quick revision max 15 20 minutes mein pura chapter revise karna hai that is our intention or that is our goal so we are not going to discuss too much in detail or anything like that but conceptually we'll quickly revise so determination of value of supply now what is the fundamental behind this so when the tax is to be calculated the gst is to be calculated on outward supply of goods or services you need two parameters one will be the rate of tax one will be the value so value is one of the very crucial aspects and value cannot be of a choice of our own because then it will be like everybody pay tax only at a lesser price so when you say value of supply it has to be an appropriate value now what do you mean by appropriate means appropriate as per the law as appropriate as per the provisions of cgst act appropriate as per the provisions of the gst act in itself that is why we call i mean that is when we can call it as appropriate correct provisions of the cgst act and the rules therein now let us start uh, revising section 15 of course the provisions of uh, value of supply as you know is very much there in section 15 of the cgst act now friends in exam you are asked questions on the value of supply of what nature so you will be given a situation you will be given certain uh, facts of the case and basis that you will be asked the asked to determine the taxable value or the correct taxable value for the purpose of determining the tax there now when you determine that question so see typically this is how your question is going to look like for every value of supply question this is how your question will look like okay for instance like okay why you limited provides the following details of this uh, good supplied to agni limited and they have given you certain details over here now we have to only find out that what amount is to be added what amount is not to be added or what amount is to be subtracted while determining the value whether there is any specification in regards to that so now from the ca intermediate point, point of view we have limited to the value of supply only in respect of the provisions of the act the rules per se the valuation rules are not there as a part of your curriculum so we are sticking to the discussion only on the determination of value of supply that is the section provisions okay now the value of supply of goods shall be the transaction value what do you mean by transaction value the definition is very simple transaction value means price actually paid or payable by whom recipient to the supplier for the supply of goods or services where the recipient and supplier are not related person that is one condition and price is the sole consideration so in an in an ideal scenario whatever is the price offered to you for any product that will be called as transaction value with the background that you and the supplier are not related person and price is the only consideration so it means only consideration so for instance anything let you go to taj hotel you order a tea maybe it's for 250 rupees that's the value of supply you go on a street vendors uh, thela and you say that chai chahiye he is going to say okay 10 rupees cutting every value is a taxable value is an accepted taxable value is an accepted transaction value because the price is the actual price whatever is paid by the recipient to supplier that will be your ultimate price so there is no compulsion that one commodity should be sold across the same i mean across all the vendors in the same price there is no such compulsion jo bhi price aap adopt karna chahte that can be your transaction value that is perfectly fine subject to the condition that supplier and recipient are not related person and price is the sole consideration so what if they are related person or what if price is not the sole consideration then your value is required to be determined by applying cgst valuation rules that is the rules are given that okay in the instance that supplier and recipient are related how the value should be determined in the instance price is not the sole consideration but price ke alawa bhi kuch aur consideration ja raha hai then how to determine the value that is also given okay so now we'll go to the provisions of value of supply now there are certain inclusions in the value that value will include value will always include if it is not so already included you have to include it means jo aapko price diya rahega usme there are certain factors which have to 
obligatory compulsorily form a part of your value of supply what all should be there as a part of value of supply any tax says duties fees paid under levied under any law for the timing in force other than this act or the sgst or the utgst or the gst compensation says act if charge separately by the supplier now friends questions exams mein jab aayenge that time you have to focus on two things okay is there any additional tax which is imposed check that if that tax is a tax other than cgst sgst utgst igst or gst compensation says it will form a part of your taxable value of supply now let us try to understand how it works the instance so let's say that you are traveling from uh, say you are traveling to some hill station okay that hill station collects a uh, tax from you for maybe clean says or by any name say clean says green says by any name they are collecting some tax from you so let's say that i am sending my goods from one say say for instance i am sending my goods from pune in maharashtra to a place called as mahableshwar in maharashtra it's a hill station they are collecting green says when the vehicles enter there so my value of goods is actually 1 lakh rupees but on that consignment i have to pay a green says of 2000 rupees then since it is a tax it is a tax other than the gst tax it will form the part of my value of supply so i'll have to add that 2000 rupees when i'm going to determine the gst applicable on my goods okay so that is one instance clear next any amount that the supplier is liable to pay in relation to goods but which has been incurred by the recipient of the supply and not included in the price actually paid or payable now here what we are trying to understand any amount that the supplier is liable to pay in relation to such supply but which is incurred by the recipient so in an instance suppose there is the, let's suppose that we are talking about this product okay it's a packaged drinking water now ideally the supplier is supposed to give us of course the water the bottle the cap the lid and this uh, packing material now let's say that some company wants bislery to make dedicatedly brand specific bottles for them so company kya bolta hai that okay you give us the water bottle lid and the cap this packing material will design for ourselves packing material will design for ourselves so you don't incur that cost now one may say okay is packing material really a compulsive part of the product answer is no but tomorrow if somebody tells bislery okay you know you give us the bottle i mean the water we will give you the bottle in itself designed in our own way so here what now if somebody says that i sell packaged drinking water do you mean to say that he only saying uh, you know gives you the प्योरिफाइड वॉटर एंड से आप लोटा लेके आओ थैली लेके आओ ऐसा नहीं होता यू ऑब्वियसली एक्सपेक्ट दैट बाय एन ऑब्लीगेटरी पार्ट टू बी द बॉटल ना इफ दैट कॉस्ट इज बींग इनकर्ड विच इज एन ऑब्लीगेशन ऑफ द सप्लायर एनी अमाउंट दैट द सप्लायर इज लाइबल टू पे मीन्स वेर इट इज एन ऑब्लीगेशन ऑफ द सप्लायर विच इज मेड बाय द रेसिपियंट इफ ओनली पैकिंग मटेरियल वुड है केस आई वुड है नो प्रॉब्लम but if the entire bottle is being given by the recipient iska matlab kya hai ki you want to reduce the taxable value of the goods so what you are doing half of the obligation you are shifting on the supply i mean on the recipient saying that you give that bottle to me it's like a consideration in kind so while determining the taxable value what will happen that any amount which the supplier is liable to pay if the recipient pays that amount then that amount will be added as a part of your taxable value fair no next incidental expenditure including commission and packing charged by the supplier to the recipient of supply and any amount charged for anything done by the supplier in respect of goods or services or both at the time or before the delivery of goods now see they here this provision does not talk about the normal packing which is obviously expected to be done now we'll continue the same example say this very bottle okay now what they are saying incidental expenses including commission packing charged by the supplier to the recipient if any additional decorative packing is done so let's say that i tell bislery that okay in my office i have five teams red blue red blue green yellow orange 
I tell Bisleri, you manufacture bottles for me. Or I mean, you manufacture your product for me. And this packing material, will this particular packing material, you make customized packing material for us, marking the team red, blue, green, yellow, orange. Now that is an additional packing material what Bisler is going to give to you, right? It's an incidental expenditure. It's an incidental expenditure, main expenditure and incidental. As a reason of this bottle supply, there's an incidental expenditure. Is incidental expenditures will form the part of value of supply. If not already included, of course, they'll form the part of your value of supply. Means in a way, try to understand friends, wherever, the value of supply is trying to get suppressed because these elements are added subsequently. That should not happen. So these amounts are required to be added as a part of your determining taxable value. Interest or late fees or penalty for delayed payment of any consideration for any supply. Interest or fees or penalty for delayed payment of consideration of any supply. Means when you say that Let's say that sometimes you, you may be paying your phone bills. Okay. So Airtel has sent your phone bill of 1000 rupees plus GST. Now, if you pay the bill after the due date, they'll say that, okay, there will be a delay charge of 50 rupees. That delay charge of 50 rupees will form a part of your taxable value. And then the GST will have to be calculated on not 1000 plus, but 1050. Subsidies directly linked to the price excluding subsidies provided by central government and state governments. Now what they are saying, the subsidies which are given on the products sold, more likely it will be goods. Subsidies directly linked to the price excluding subsidies provided by central government and state government. If there is any third party, say let's say that there is some association, there is some organizational association, say... Uh, any any of the specific so let, let's take an example you manufacture something which is uh, based on let's say you, you are manufacturing a product which is based on this uh, hydraulic suspension hydraulic matlab to aisa karke aapka pressure se jo cheez upar niche move hote hai wo hydraulics so you may have seen those products like you have a hydraulic jack for the car or sometimes the chairs on which you sit the three wheeler chairs jo hote usme knobs open karke upar matlab knob upar niche karne se chair upar niche ho jata hai that hydraulic things now let's say you manufacture such kind of a product and they, there is this association of hydraulics manufacturers they'll give you a subsidy okay for every product you manufacture 10 rupees we are going to give you as a subsidy so any subsidies directly linked to the price excluding subsidies provided by central or state government will form a part of value so if society ne association ne subsidy diya to there will be a part of my taxable value now central and state government ke bare mein, very specifically that they should not be forming a part of your taxable value for the purpose of this subsection the amount of subsidy shall be included in the value of supply of the supplier who receives the subsidy means while determining the taxable value i'm going to as if consider that amount as a part of my taxable value now the value of supply shall not include so like we talked about inclusions there are exclusions any discount which is given before or at the time of supply of goods or i mean uh, at the time of supply of, of goods or services any discount which is given before or at the time of supply if such discount has been duly recorded if such discount has been duly recorded. Now, let's see. After the supply, if such discount is established in terms of an agreement or at uh, before the time of supply and specifically linked to the relevant invoices. And input tax credit as attributable to a discount has been reversed. Now it says where the value of goods or services or both cannot be determined under subsection 1 the same shall be determined in manner as may be prescribed means like i told you about the valuation rules that is the rules for determining the taxable value now we'll first try so basically this is the inclusion and exclusion part friends we'll try to go through some questions surya agency has agreed to supply goods 
to customer premises where customer premises goods valued at 80000 rupees are taxable at 5% igst as it is an interstate supplier it has also paid freight and insurance of 12000 rupees incidental expenditure gta is registered entity and has charged gst at 6% 6% under the forward charge mechanism okay now what they are saying is compute the value of invoice for supplying the goods and what will be the invoice value of including igst if the supplier was under the x factory basis and instead of door delivery basis now we'll try to understand this here if you see that surya agency has agreed to supply the goods to customer premises so their cost has been included up to the customer premises now simple mera value of supply hai of course incidental values hai to wo main value of goods mein add kar dunga and that will be my gst payable now the question is that if the supply was on a x factory delivery basis okay x factory delivery basis matlab my all obligation was only to deliver the goods up to my factory premises so iska matlab ye jo freight and insurance wala part hai wo mere value ka hissa nahi banta tha agar agar yahan pe kya diya hai what will be the invoice value of supply if supply was under x factory delivery basis means i am delivering the goods only at my door factory door तो ऑब्वियस है कि ये बारह हजार रुपए का खर्चा मैं इनकर नहीं कर सकता फिर ओके आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू यू नाउ इन वैल्यू ऑफ सप्लाई क्वेश्चंस, प्लीज रिमेंबर जितना न्यूमेरिकल एडजस्टमेंट को इंपॉर्टेंस है उतना ही वर्किंग नोट्स को इंपॉर्टेंस है व्हाट यू एड इज टू बी जस्टिफाइड वाई यू एडेड अ पर्टिकुलर ट्रांजेक्शन आई मीन वाई यू एडेड अ पर्टिकुलर वैल्यू Why you did not add a particular value? Why you subtracted the discount? ये explanatory note अगर नहीं जाता है तो आपके answer complete नहीं माने जाते So please ensure you doing that. Okay. Now there is some typo over here. Okay, next one. Why you limited provides particulars relating to the goods supplied by it. List price of the goods, exclusive taxes and discount is seventy six thousand. Special packaging at the request of the customer to be charged to the customer five thousand rupees. Now see, this is an incidental expenditure. Value may add. Ojay. Duty levied by local authority on sale of such goods. Now this is being charged separately. It is a tax other than GST. It will form the part of my value. सी जी एस टी एस जी एस टी चार्ज इन इनवाइस ऑफकोर्स हम लोग जिस पर्पज के लिए डिटरमाइन कर रहे हैं वैल्यू वो तो टैक्स लगाने के लिए सी जी एस टी एस जी एस टी विल नॉट बी अ पार्ट ऑफ योर टैक्सेबल वैल्यू सब्सिडी रिसीव फ्रॉम ए एन जी ओ द प्राइस ऑफ सेवेंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड इज गिवन आफ्टर कंसिडरिंग सच सब्सिडी एंड सो दैट सब्सिडाइज प्राइस इज सेवेंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड एंड द सब्सिडी रिसीव फॉर एवरी प्रोडक्ट इज फाइव थाउजेंड ओके सो नाउ फर्दर इट सेज इट ऑफर्स थ्री परसेंट डिस्काउंट ऑन द लिस्ट प्राइस ऑफ द गुड्स विच इज रिकॉर्डेड इन द इनवाइस determine the value of supply for the uh, made by yu limited now friends here we are going to say go one by one list price of the goods 76000 we know okay 76000 here packing whether it is to be added yes it's an incidental expenditure so you need to write a note also that because it's an incidental expenditure it will form a part of my taxable value duty levied yes it's a tax levied by other than gst law it will be forming a part of my सब्सिडी रिसीव्ड ये सेवेंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड का अमाउंट ऑलरेडी सब्सिडाइज प्राइस है तो उसमें मुझे जो एनजीओ से सब्सिडी आया है आई हैव टू एड इट एज अ पार्ट ऑफ माई टैक्सीबल वैल्यू सो आई हैव टू एड इट नाउ डिस्काउंट इट सेज थ्री परसेंट ऑन द लिस्ट प्राइस ओके नाउ थ्री परसेंट ऑन लिस्ट प्राइस मीन अभी यहाँ पे सिर्फ क्या दिया था लिस्ट प्राइस ऑफ द गुड्स एक्सक्लूसिव ऑफ डिस्काउंट एंड टैक्सेज सेवेंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड सो ऑन दिस अमाउंट आई एम गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट थ्री परसेंट नो प्रॉब्लम बेस इज दिस माई वैल्यू ऑफ टैक्सीबल सप्लाईज एटी सेवन सेवन हंड्रेड नो फ्रेंड्स प्लीज रिमेंबर सिर्फ न्यूमेरिकल एडजस्टमेंट्स का कोई वैल्यू नहीं है यू विल गेट ओनली हाफ मार्क्स फॉर इट सो प्लीज डू नॉट फर्गेट टू राइट द वर्किंग नोट्स फॉर एवरी थिंग यू हैव टू गिव अ सिंपल एक्सप्लेनेशन वाई यू एडेड वाई यू डिड नॉट एड वाई यू सब्ट्रैक्टेड जैसे ये डिस्काउंट क्यों माइनस किया बिकॉज इट वॉज अ डिस्काउंट एज पर सेक्शन फिफ्टीन सब सेक्शन टू we saw that discount which is given before or at the time of supply as long as it is recorded in the invoice separately it will be reduced from the value fair so all these notes are required to be written like this friends 
the purpose of this was only to quickly revise the sections quickly revise the provisions we'll keep doing such kind of videos till the time your exams are there so as i told you not more than 20 minutes so 20 minutes mein ek chapter revise ho jayega baki questions jo important questions hai apne mark karke rakhe rahenge i am very sure you will do that just for a conceptual revision this is what we had so on that basis i would like to thank you thank you so much have a good day ahead take care jai hind